And that tarp, it was on for two hours out there. Really put in a delay on this game. However, you know, the Iron Pigs, they started strong. Cody Clemens sending this ball jingling all the way over the fence to take an early lead as that was a three-run dinger. Lehigh Valley then ready for more figgy pudding, but instead Sawyer Gibson long corrals the comebacker to cancel any sleigh ride to first. Colt Keith then gets his teammates rocking around the Christmas tree, or bases in this case, with this RBI double. The Hens going to try for two, but settle for one as the throw co comes home for Christmas early. Toledo, though, did cut the deficit to one until Esteban Quiro gets a hold of this one. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, with this two-run RBI. And despite a tough comeback, Attempt. It's a blue Christmas for the Hens. Seven to five, your final. And we'll send it now live to fifth third field for more with Matt Melzak and Jim Weber. All right, thank you. Yeah, back out here at fifth third field. Uh, Jim, it just ended for us. Felt like a long night tonight, even though it was only seven innings. Yet, because of the rain delay, it was a, quite a long night. Yeah, you know, that's a new rule that Major League Baseball put into the minor leagues that if you start after 9 o'clock, you only play 7. And we were going to play because we had a crowd here of 11,218, and most of them stuck around for the two-hour delay. Although it was a mud hen loss, we did see a young pitcher up, uh, Sawyer Gibson Long, who pitched very well. He gave up the home run to Cody Clemens. Outside of that, he walked only one and struck out seven. Another young, strong arm coming up in the Tigers organization. Yeah, he was acquired in the Michael Fulmer trade. Uh, when, they, when they sent Michael Fulmer out two years ago, they got him. Uh, he pitched uh, very well this year in Erie, and he's carried that right over. You could see it. His walk-to-strikeout ratio was outstanding in Erie, and it was seven strikeouts to one walk tonight. Yeah, and then the Mud Hens, of course, falling behind 3 nothing in the first. They battled back and had a shot in the seventh inning. They scored three times. But the final wound up 7-5 to five as uh, the Iron Pigs finally won out. Yeah, they finally did. They got enough runs tonight to hold off that mud hen late rally. So for Toledo, need to win tomorrow just to head off to St. Paul on a winning note and, and to salvage two games out of this series. Yeah, and going to St. Paul and Iowa, two of the tougher teams in the IL. Yeah, it's going to be a tricky road trip for the mud hens, but they drop it tonight by a final score of 7-5. to five.